One of the things we also discussed on the clinic was the relationship between hands and feet and the six different limb combinations we've got. So the strongest one being realistically are the hands, followed by our dominant side, which is normally right hand, right foot, followed by the feet, followed by the weaker side, which is normally left hand, left foot. The two remaining ones are the relationship between right hand, left foot, and left hand and right foot. Now we very seldomly do this sort of action where we play right hand with the left foot or indeed left hand with the right foot. And you can do some really cool and kind of cool stuff with this. So, because normally we sit on the kit and play our dominant side as the first note. We'll try and get you out of that mentality. All I'd like you to do is play a triplet. Now you've probably seen this on the internet, but I want to really slow it down and show you the actual thought process behind it. With your dominant limb first, so it'd be right hand or if you're left handed, probably your left side. Right, left, left. Just straightforward triplet. And it'd be very easy to play the feet the same, so you play right, left, left with the feet. But I want you to change the feet, so I want you to go left, right, right. So, weaker side. Put them together. No matter how difficult this gets, that's going to stay the same. So it'd be right, left, left with the hands, left, right, right with the feet. And to be fair, we obviously got this wonderful kit around me. It's just using the color to come up with some different textures and ideas of the kit. So for example, I'm going to put my right hand on the floor, Tom. So you get the same thing. Add in the foot. We can also put the left hand on the hi-hat. So you get this really nice little open thing going on here. Make it a little bit more interesting for yourself. We can go floor tom, ride, snare, ride. So we're going four movements with the right side. So get that. If we put that together, you get this. And that's going to stay the same for the whole exercise. You can challenge yourself and move it around the kit if you wanted to. But the left hand's going to go on a series of instructions. Now, first off, we're going to go from hi-hat, playing two notes, to tom one. So just the hands would be this. If I wanted to, with my left side, I could challenge a little bit more, so I can go hi-hat, tom one snare drum. So we're playing a triangle, I like to see my, my kit as shape, so a triangle, and we're playing another triangle over here, with four movements though, obviously, three with the left side. In context. With the feet. And we can just keep going. Full movement to the left side. Oh, a nice groove on its own anyway, but with the foot ostinato playing the opposites, sounds incredible. The more advanced guys, we can, we can uh, phrase in five if we wanted to. So we can go one, two, three, four. Four, five, still playing the ostinato, but still the important thing we talked about is right, left, left, and left, right, right. So you get this. If you wanted to, you could put your foot on the left pe slave pedal. Get that sort of sound as well for the kind of more metal guys, but it's a really cool exercise and great for basic independence.